Hello friends, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliay, obstetrician and gynecologist from Gwalior. First of all, at the outset, thank you so much for all the good messages that you've been sending me. It's so good to see most of you who like and subscribe the channel, the YouTube channel. So you're being updated and you're receiving from time to time new videos which I upload. So coming to the video today, there's a good news for all the women. The good news is all those pregnant patients who have delivered and they're breastfeeding, you can be vaccinated now. There is no risk to you, no risk to the baby if you're breastfeeding. However, for those who are pregnant, wait. The government of India has not yet given us the permission because the studies are going on. We are, we are not really sure about the side effects of the injection. Hopefully, there should not be any side effects. But for the pregnant ones, wait. Now, uh, during pregnancy, uh, it has been seen that there's a lot of tension, a lot of stress, and there is a lot of increase in depression among those women who have delivered. So I want to convey a message to all of you that it's always good to reach out to a counsellor. There are this aspect of COVID disease, especially for those patients also who have recovered from the disease, that post-recovery, the amount of depression, the amount of stress that they are going through. Some of them, you know, they come with complaints or weakness for about a month and they feel, what's happened to me? My friend is okay, I'm not okay. Don't worry, it happens. Maximum, what you should do is, if you're not sure about your symptoms, speak it out, either to a counsellor or to your MD physician or to your family doctor. So this is about pregnant women. Other good news, if you're pregnant, if you're down with COVID infection, don't worry. 80% of the cases has been very mild symptoms of fever, body ache, you know, very, very few symptoms. In that condition also, there is no vertical transmission of the infection to the baby. What I mean to say is, it will, the infection will not go from the placenta to the baby. So relax. Let that stress be not there in you. I have a lot of my patients who are pregnant and who got COVID. With home rest for two weeks, taking good high protein diet, a lot of hydration, drinking a lot of water, fresh fruits, they've overcome the disease and they've delivered normally. There is no risk of C-section or to the mode of delivery, any change into that. So that's a good news. You can just follow the instruction of a routine normal pregnant patient as it was two years back. The pandemic should not be a cause of concern to you. Now there is a good news again with the government of India for the general population, whether it is men or women, that the vaccination time gap has been modified. So suppose you have got the first jab today the next jab the next dose would be after three months now suppose that if you have fallen sick you have tested rt-pcr positive once you're out of that when you test negative you need to take three more months till you get the first vaccine so if you're sick again once you're all right three months so vaccine cannot be given to you before three months now if uh, you have been given convalescent plasma which right now we are not in giving it in protocols, or you've been giving antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, which is going on, you will have to wait for three months till you get the first vaccine, if you're not vaccinated in that condition. Now, if you have got any other comorbidities, for example, you have got uh, no COVID, but you are diabetic, you are under, you are under treatment, or you are a heart patient, or you have been hospitalized for any kidney problem, or you have been hospitalized in an ICU unit for anything else besides COVID. In that condition also, you will have to wait. At least that again goes into four to eight weeks till you are all right. So under such circumstances, you still have to wait for your first job. Now suppose uh, you uh, want to donate blood and uh, you have been just recovered or you have been test RT-PCR negative. So you will have to wait for two weeks till you can at least donate the blood to somebody else. So these are certain things that you have to follow. The other good news is, the update is, Government of India, ICMR, which is Indian Council of Medical Research, has come out with a rapid test. It is called the rapid antigen test, R-A-T, rat test. 
you will have to download an app in your mobile which you can take it from the Google uh, Store or Apple Store and this download in your mobile once you download it you'll get a video you get the instruction of how it has to be done sitting at home yes sitting at home you can do this test when is this test done now suppose you started feeling feverish you started feeling fatigue you are not sure whether you are COVID or you've come across someone who's got COVID. So this test can be done at home. It's a rapid test. If it is positive, you will follow the instruction of a COVID positive patient. Stay at home, take paracetamol, take the precautions which is necessary, watch yourself, pulse oximeter, all this has been done. I've been sharing it with you in my previous video. Watch that. Now, suppose you've come across a patient who has been RT-PCR positive or you're not sure whether you know you got the disease, the virus from him. That is a time you can do the test also at home. So you're too sure. Now suppose you've done the test, rapid test, and it is negative, but still you've got fever, still you're feverish, still you're coughing. In that case, you will have to do the RT-PCR test, which is very important. Now, uh, the app will tell you in the mobile how it has to be done. There are videos which are made by the government of India. They've done a wonderful job. And I think this is something which is really a um, good thing during the pandemic that you can stay at home and get it done. So you shouldn't be rushing here and there, pillar to post and find a place that you can do the test. It's a nasal swab test. You have to put a spatula inside and put it inside a container which has got a solution. Everything is done well. Everything is explained well in the video that you come across. There are a lot of questions regarding black fungus. In my next video, I'm planning to share that with all of you. So, look forward to see you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. It's always good to spread the good message. It is could be a good way of serving the humanity. Sitting at home, you can help everyone, passing the message on. Have a wonderful day and keep well. Stay safe, stay healthy.